Just gotta make sure I got the UV protection, baby. What up, guys? I want to do a quick video. I said I would make videos on our vlogging channel, youtubecom Bright. I said I would start making videos on here, so I'm going to make a quick little discussion video. Not really debate. Kind of just I want to discuss something with you guys. There's a little bit of misconception around a couple things that bugs the crap out of me, and it's not a little. It's a huge misconception. Basically, Final Cut Pro. Okay, this goes with Pro Tools too, but I'm gonna just talk about Final Cut Pro right now. A majority of the people that use Final Final Cut Pro say that they use Final Cut Pro because it's the industry standard and that it's been used on big movies. Okay, now let's think about that for a second. If it's been used on big movies, it must be a great freaking editing software, right? That's not exactly the case here. The reason it was used on big movies, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but Final Cut Pro 7, I don't know the terms, but it has capabilities and it has a feature that allows you to edit film. I, I don't know if it's editing film, I just know it has to do with film. And it's the top reason, it's the main reason why these big movies are using Final Cut Pro 7 to edit their movies. That's why it says this was edited on Final Cut Pro 7, because they shot it in film. Now I don't know anyone, and I don't know anyone that knows anyone, or know anyone that knows anyone that knows anyone that uses film right now. No one. Everyone's shooting on DSLRs, and that's because we don't make movies. We make YouTube videos. We make videos that are 1080p max, there's no point in going past that, and it's shot digitally. Those film features, those top-end, top-notch film features that are used for making movies are completely useless for anyone that's making a YouTube video unless you make movies. If you make movies, good for you. I would get a red and freaking, you don't, you still don't even need freaking Final Cut Pro 7 if you have a red because then it's not film. So what's the point? Um, I mean, film is sort of, I mean, it's not exactly going away, but I mean, these high resolution cameras are starting to come in and film is starting to become a little bit more and more useless. So that's my thought on the whole industry standard um, the only reason it's industry standard is because these big movies makers use it and that causes a lot of other people to use it and they're all saying it's industry standard and then it becomes a coined phrase and all of a sudden it's what you have to have if you want to be a professional editor and that's not true at all. There are many other editing softwares out there that could do just as well as Final Cut Pro, if not more, except for the fact that it can't edit film. My preference is Sony Vegas along with Premiere and After Effects. I keep those in the back end just in case if I need them for anything else because they're very useful and I personally I have tried Final Cut Pro, I've tried Vegas, I've tried Premiere and if you like what you use to edit because you're used to it I get that okay because I have been stuck on Final Cut Pro before and that was Final Cut Pro was the shortest because I got over it a lot a lot quicker but there was a time when I was stuck on Final Cut Pro and I felt like I didn't want to use anything else. I was like, I'm used to it, I could do it, it's fast for me, I could, I'm quick with it, and I forgot how to use everything else, so I was just using Final Cut Pro. The same thing happened in Premiere, same thing happened with Vegas. It started out with Vegas, then it went to Premiere, then it went to Final Cut Pro, then I went back to Premiere because of my class, then I think I was kind of like, I don't know, I think I like Final Cut Pro better. Then I installed Vegas on my laptop, and I started using Vegas on my MacBook Pro on Boot Camp, and I realized what I was missing, because I, I for completely forgot how good Vegas was, and I was like, Wow, there's just so many things that you could do in Vegas that are, it's quicker, it's faster, those both mean the same thing, but I mean I just gotta use as many adjectives as I possibly can to freaking express how fast it is, and it's easier, and the fact that it's easier doesn't make it any less professional, it just means your brain doesn't hurt so much. I mean, it's still professional, and it, I, I prefer Vegas with Premiere and After Effects on the side, I already said that. Why are you raising your hand? If you don't know who I am, you just found this video randomly, and you're like, who is this guy talking about Vegas, Premiere, and After Effects? and Final Cut Pro. Well, um, I'm in a band called Terabyte. I'm not this goofy. I have videos on YouTube, youtube.com slash Terabyte, and I have a daily vlog channel, youtube.com slash Vlarabyte. Go check out my YouTube videos on youtube.com slash Terabyte to see everything that I've edited in Vegas. Ever since I started being a YouTuber, I've been stuck on Vegas and I haven't switched. I've used a little bit of After Effects and Premiere in there. Like I said, I have that in the background. But Everything has started in Vegas and ended in Vegas. The premiere and After Effects happened somewhere in the middle of there, but it always started and ended. So it, it was so, at some point, every video that you see on youtube.com slash Terabyte went through Vegas. There's really only one video that we used Premiere on, and then that was Decision because of the way it sped up. I needed, I needed a feature from Premiere. Because, I mean, not every editing software can do everything, but they, I feel like with Vegas, Premiere, and After Effects, you can do anything. You don't need anything else. 
else. So um, that's just my take on it. Um, let's discuss this in the freaking description if you want. Um, don't be a debate killer. I hate debate killers. Well, I don't hate them. Hate's a strong word. But I dislike people who try to kill debates and say, oh, it's a matter of preference or it's what you're used to. I've been used to everything and my preference is Vegas. I told you that. And just let's talk about the goods, ins and outs of everything and actually freaking make us an educational experience rather than, oh, I give up. I don't want to debate. You know what I'm saying? So let's talk about this. Um, I'll reply to your comments as much as I possibly can. And I love you guys. Well, my hand's shaking. I hope this whole video wasn't shaky. <laughs> ah!